Enchantress. Dire team pick. All right, everybody, welcome back to the ADL. It's season two. It is, of course, May 7th here. We are getting into the last couple of games for the group stages of the American Dota League. Thank you so much for joining us here with Union Gaming versus Shadows of the Past, a very important series for both sides. It's been a pleasure casting for you this evening. Once again, our final game. Thanks for joining us. My name is Mott. With me is What is Hip, aka Ice Greg. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great. I'm doing just great, man. Had a pretty interesting game number one where, you know, our buddies at Shadow of the Past just have not really been able to get it done. And uh, they they had a chance, I think, but just took a bit too long and the door just shut. So, yeah. And uh, that's a bit rough for them. I mean, honestly, because they really need to win these games right now. If we look at the standings here real quick. You could see that Shadows of the Past, they're sitting at 6-7 and seven now. And we, I guess one of our mods, and we'll give a shout-out to KJ, did a bit of, I guess, uh, research here. And you could say that 8 or 9, probably about 9 wins, is, is theoretically what you need to get into the playoffs. So with a couple games remaining and actually only 3 left here for Shadows of the Past, they pretty much need to win out. And they're going to face up against a really dominant team in North American Rejects next. And that'll Radiant be, I'm not back. sure when, I believe it's going to be... At the end of this week, probably. I'd yeah, say. it's the end of the week. Yeah, so we actually, I don't know if we'll be able to cover that. We'll talk about that in a bit, obviously, guys. But for Union, they're three and, well, four and seven now with 10 games, well, 11 games played, I should say. So remaining. they're certainly not out of it yet, but they need to win out here to be able to have a chance. So we're going to jump into the draft, man. And Ember Spirit and Enchantress first pick up for Union. But Reserve on the other time. side, Invoker and CM. Interesting stuff. I really like Enchantress right now. I think, I mean, we've rotated towards a mid farm heavy meta, yes. um, and you know it's you know it's something that I actually really like. That's my favorite kind of mid to play. And heroes like Enchantress are the most frustrating shit in the world to play against because they have so many different ways of completely screwing you up in that mid lane. Whether that's through a gank with a troll, a cyclone with the uh, the wild wing creep. There's just so many different good options for an Enchantress to just completely mess with a mid laner. And Invoker, if that is the mid, is definitely one of those heroes that you need to disrupt. You need to put pressure on early so he doesn't just get to do whatever he wants. And I think Enchantress is the perfect hero for that. So I really like this pickup by Union Gaming. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. And you talked about the Tornado. You talked about Ten killing him with a gank either through a Dark Troll Summoner or a Central Conqueror. You can even use the Radiant Harpy Stormcrafter. Which yep. Oh, no yeah, one that's really, fucking annoying. Too. No one does that anymore. <laughs> More, I feel I feel like for the most part, yeah, but it's less good. But it's you know sometimes it's just what you get. You situations know? call for a harpy stormcrafter to piss you right the fuck off, and yeah, it can happen. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Rubik is the next pick off is pickup as well. And, and these two heroes comboed up with an Ember Spirit mid that might spell doom for an Invoker. That's a lot of potential hate with Telekinesis. You already talked about Enchantress, and then Searing Chance on top of that. Ten if it is a mid lane Ember Spirit, which yeah, no, I mean, it probably would be. I mean, I've Five seen it mid more often than not, so. Yeah, that's what we're used to, but maybe, you know, with this, mm, I'm unsure, I don't know. I, I'm not really sure how these new Ember Ganks sort of in affect, the, or Ember Ganks, Jesus, Ember nerfs uh, affect his laning. I mean, the the difference on Searing Change has actually been pretty evident i think and uh pretty much all laning scenarios now that you have to max it to get that full length chains uh makes it so it's a lot harder to just solo kill mid laners um so you know for that reason i think maybe he's a bit better suited towards the side lanes going for a quick you know phase drums battle fury getting that by 18 or 19 minutes and then just being a mid game powerhouse yeah it's a bit different but you know i think that's kind of where the nerfs were supposed to bring him in wow shadows Power, of the past yeah. a sky wrath mage what the hell this hero is surprisingly good actually i think really he's, i think he's a decent hero um i don't know how they're gonna lane it if he's a support they have crystal maiden which means that you have lockdown and that's kind of the issue. You, you could spam out your abilities so very frequently. The problem is, with, if you get a BKB, you're pretty much screwed. The thing is, though, it's the silence. And this is what they're going for. Ancient Seal against Ember Spirit is more likely than not what they're picking it up for. Because that silence <laughs> is so good. Plus the amount of damage you can pump out through your Mystic Flare, through oh. your Arcane Bolt, and Custom Shot. But you can game it, they just counterpick it. They just go for a Templar oh, Assassin immediately. So, 
Um, Templar doesn't really care about Ancient Seal. She really doesn't care about Arcane Boulder Concussive Shot as long as she has Refraction up. So, uh, This is a great pick, and for a couple of reasons. One of the best laners against Invoker, uh, Templar Assassin, is very, very good against Invoker because his base damage is so bad early, and Refraction gives you such a huge damage Ten advantage. Seconds. It's just super easy to CS them. You get a level on Psyblades. You can push them out of the lane ridiculously remain. easily and uh i really really like templar assassin against the invoker so with the tough. enchantress as well i think this will be a bit a bit tough for the invoker you know we have seen some side lane templar assassins but really that was a while ago wagamama was really the only person that consistently did it and uh i don't think it's very good to be honest and uh mm. the new templar assassin build you get the midas you farm up a storm. You kill people ridiculously easily in the mid game. Listen, hold on a second. It's okay. Okay, it's not awful. Or we saw anything. it yesterday. Just... Bricks did oh, really? it for No Earth Spirit yesterday, and he pretty much won the game single handedly. I think they won that game. It's. Anyways. I mean, it's very potent still, but. I mean, if you I get would... like a phase in Yash in like the first like fifteen minutes of the game, you're gonna be dishing That's at the true. damage you're without just, even like, guessing. Shot, yeah. Two shot CM and Sky Wrath or whatever. All right, whatever. You've can you know I'm I'm very I'm very swayable in my arguments. You just you you swayed me, dude. I I, I have that power. Remaining. I've been told the nips have that uh, exact <laughs> oh, power. So you know. By the way, take a shot every time I mention Reserve my nips. So. Time. <laughs> you're probably already dead, anyways. So <laughs> if you if you've actually been playing, or I don't know, folks. man. We we were pretty good in that first game, though. I think. If you I mean if you count the pause, though. Well, I mean it's not like one drink per minute of pause. One drink per pause. So. Well, but everything that happened in the pause. Uh, yeah, that's true, I guess. Yeah. Well, we didn't really set up the rules until after Radiant that first pause. So. All right. We need to get some formal rules. Knowledge Chunky, get on that. Yeah. <laughs> KJ did so much for us already. We don't We don't need a burden. Get anymore. on that. I don't need your bullshit. He can, he can, I don't need your bullshit excuses. He can, uh, I'm not sure what I'm <laughs> looking for. He can delegate that to Locarian Storm seconds. or somebody. <laughs> Fair enough. But, Fair. Uh, yeah, Murata's going to get picked up here for Shadows remaining. of the Past. You hear that Chicken MC loves to play mid, but with the Invoker, Sidelight Invoker is a thing, so that's something Reserve to keep in mind. Time. They certainly could go for it here. Maybe safe lane, even like a, I, probably more like safe lane. That way the sports can roam and he can get, you know, obviously just solo experience. The last ban is going to come out for Shadows of the Past. They've already banned a couple of offlaners here and there, including the Darkseer. They banned out the Sand King second, which is a bit of a surprise, but they want to not deal with that rather than the Amber Spirit. They probably feel comfortable against the Amber Spirit. They go for the Skyroth Mage. Maybe that's their counter to it, but Templar Assassin can run away with this game very quickly if it gets out of control with Union Gaming. Yeah, that's going to be the biggest issue. I completely agree. Like, if really, if Shadows of the Past can keep the TA under control, I think they should have a good shot at taking this game fairly convincingly, but that's not an easy thing to do at all. Templar Assassin Radiant has such a good skill set for killing heroes like Crystal Maiden, like Skywrath Mage. Even Marana with Leap can only get you so far against the Templar Assassin with traps. Yeah, I agree. I think it's going to be difficult, I think, and a Nyx Assassin is only going to compound the problem here for Shadows of the Past right now as they... An ex assassin, which is probably their offlaner, is going to be very good at. Well, if he can get those levels, he could certainly start ganking the dead end. We've seen big and pales before as well, and remaining. shutting down these heroes is going to be important. The invoker, Five most of all, if you can vendetta remaining. gank him, he'll be in some trouble. So now, really, it comes down to what shadows of the past want for their offlane or solo remaining. safe lane, and uh, or they'll pick up a warlock. Okay, was not wow. expecting. They're that. going deep, dude. This is this is uh what the fuck? This is Pocket Strat Central, my friend. We've we've entered another dimension uh, in the ADL and I don't quite know where we are anymore, so <laughs> I've lost it and I'm never getting it back. And uh well, Narox picked up himself a uh a warlock. Is this gonna be a I don't think that's viable. That doesn't, that doesn't seem, seem like a thing that could happen. I ever. think they have to two one two this. This might be an all flame Skyrath, but is that also viable? Probably not. Is this an all flame Rana and then you throw Warlock, Crystal Bane, and Skyrath in a lane? That probably doesn't seem viable. I feel like they have to go two one two here. I've I been agree. wrong before though, so maybe it's like a dual lane mid with Warlock and like another hero, and then they like do a dual lane bottom with the Invoker Prepare and somebody else, and then like off lane like the Marana. See, I'm just, I am throwing out random guesses at this point, and I hope one of them is right. Fuck I it, anything could happen. I'm throwing darts at the dartboard, and I am hoping one of them hits the bullseye. It's not likely, though. Oh, man. Well, we'll see how it works out, and, uh, well, they're roaming out early. I'm very afraid for this Skywrath's mage life. 
Yeah, I, I already can see him getting killed by a TA in two hits. It's not the Scarab that bothers that, that scares like, me. It's yeah, the Warlock, I think. <laughs> oh, but Warlock, you really you think so? I, I absolutely think so. I mean, he has Shadow Word, but like, this guy is slow as ass, first of all. Uh, he's got 295 move speed compared to that of the Scarab, who has 325. CM is probably. Now, we haven't even talked about her. She's she's the squishiest and slowest of the bunch, so. This is this is a uh, squish central, if you will, for Shadows of the Past. But while we've got a second, introductions. The last time tonight, Joik will be on that CM. We'll have Last It Magic or Four on the Skyrith Mage. Narok is going to be on the Warlock. We'll have Chicken MC hashtag Thug Life on the Invoker and to ride it aloud. It's going to be Brisk on the Marana. So I, I don't know. Is I, I'm looking at it right now, and they're heading top, and I'm like, is this an aggro tri lane? I like. I just don't see how the warlock fits into this. I guess you fatal bonds into sure, like dude. arcane bolt and concussive shot and hope that you. This get seems two. like they sat in a cave. They meditated. They sat around a fire. They smoked some peace pipe and came up with this land. <laughs> this is where I'm at with this, dude. This is some. We have. This is some next level shit. This is. This is so next level that they had to meditate for it. I is see this what a you're mid saying. warlock? This is a mid fucking warlock. I'm done. <laughs> I am done. That's it, everybody. I'm gone. Goodbye. Uh, oh my lord! All right. Well, while we got a second one, on this one. Well, Damn. before well, before we before we get into that, let's why don't we introduce the Union Gamers, Greg? All right. For Union Gamers, we've got the stand in Ben Haas in the top lane, carrying it as the Lycan in the last game, as the Ember Spirit. Jericho going to be the Rubik, roaming towards the mid lane. In the mid lane, going to be Sitterall picking up the Templar Assassin. We've got Zender Liz on the Enchantress. Going to be hoping to punish the mid laner, but since it's not in the Invoker, he might be a bit thrown off here. And Angel, he's going to be the off laner. He's going to be playing the Nyx Assassin. And that's one thing. They're just, they're, they're confusing their They're going to see this opponents. Warlock and be like, what the fuck is happening? I, I honestly, I don't even know. I don't think anybody knows what's happening right now, except for maybe Shadows of the Past. I don't even think they know what's happening. So, uh, still interesting. I guess Shadow Words are good against Refraction. It t it'll take down the instances for the most part. I don't know what he's going to skill up. I His attack animation is good. He doesn't have a Null Talisman, so he doesn't do that much damage. He'll throw up Fatal Bonds first. He'll well, break the Refraction, and that's good. But it's a, refraction. this is an aggro tri lane coming out top in a solo safe lane, Invoker, and a mid Warlock. And Okay, that makes sense, actually. Warlock, I guess, out of the bunch. Besides maybe Skyrath is probably the best mid they can have. Um... This is some next level shit, man. Apparently, it's working. Look at Citarel's already lost a lot of life. I forgot. I kind of forgot that uh, HP removal takes off refraction. I don't know why I thought it didn't, but it does. Wow, that's actually nice. I'm pretty okay. sure. Isn't that what just happened? I think he right clicked it down. I don't think well, refraction has not. that many charges. I yeah. might. You might be right. Maybe there, I'm dude. just fucking wrong. Well, I actually, no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Rupture is HP removal, and it takes down refraction charges. I'm like 90 percent so sure of that. So I think you're right. Yeah. All right, our powers combined, we can theory craft and make our Maybe way not as well on. as a mid warlock in a tri lane with CM, Skyrath, and Mirana, but they seem to be fucking super afraid of this lane, though. Look at this. Well, I mean, they only have two heroes here right now. Zenderless is not here to help out. He's actually Dude. down bottom. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he is like on the wrong jungle. Just does not give a shit. But the thing is, too, also, I mean, last hit magic, he's, he can spam out Arcane Bolt. It does some decent damage. He only has one clarity, but with Arcane Aura. That's not gonna matter, dude. Oh my god, Arcane Aura. That's it. That's the key, dude. It's Arcane Aura. This is just... I can't handle this, man. Alright, well, back to the game. Frostbite on Benjaz right now. Look They're gonna this. hit the arrow. Benjaz in trouble. Telekinesis. Do they have enough damage? He's got no fire remnant. He can steer a chance potentially. They're gonna jump right in. First blood coming in for the Sky Wrath. Congrats, KJ, on your item, dude. Well played. KJ fucking rigs this, man. He gets so many items. Yeah. It's ridiculous. But in the mid lane... Narok's doing fairly well against the TA. He's yeah, losing in CS, but he's this been forcing a, a lot of region out of here. This is a TA too. That's that's something you have to understand. Like you're you're not gonna ever really win against the TA as a warlock. It's Look just never gonna happen. Tech yeah. man. Even the shadow word gets rid of it. Just this is just amazing. Yeah. I'm, I am. Well, listen. I'm not ready to bow down to the build just yet. And the next assassin gets to kill down bottom is they rotated the uh, enchantress in with the sensor conqueror and obviously the satyr tormentor. So. That is an invoker dead, and that's big. But top lane, Frostbite, they're diving the tower. Siri Chains are going to fly. Arrow hasn't been used. Telekinesis is now on four. That'll set up a, for a couple of seconds, but it doesn't matter. Benjaz is dead anyways. Jericho, you got to get out of there. Don't try to kill Joik. Frostbite, Sunstrike. It hits up, but it doesn't do enough damage. But guess what? Risk will, and he will get a double kill in this top lane. This is awesome. Oh, nice deny. All right. 
Good. Well played. You got I mean, neutral? And he's oh, gonna, yeah, he's gonna do it again. Too. Yep. Briefly. <laughs> Excellent. Well, man, he's, he's, they might have won. Whoever that Citerall might have won my uh, my mid lane harder in the last game. I don't remember when I said that, but goddamn, this is amazing. They've gotten three kills in this top lane. They've Citerall doubled, might die here. Double suicided to neutrals. Can you die from Shadow Word? Is under attack. Uh, yeah, of course you can. Are you sure? Yeah. Or not Shadow Word, uh, excuse me, Fatal Bonds. Uh, yeah, totally. That's okay. why it's called Fatal Bonds, dude. Okay, all right. I see. Right, listen. <laughs> listen, dude. Some of this some of this shit might be non-lethal. I don't know how. I don't know what to keep track of anymore. All right, I'm on tilt, so you guys. you think they would call it, like, in Fatal Bonds or something? Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm on tilt. Down bottom, Angel might get caught out to a frostbite and spike carapace. There's brown boots on the next assassin. Okay. Well, Zenos is looking to rotate. He's got, well, wildling the tornado. Narox is like, what the hell's going on in my lane right now? There's a dark troll summoner waiting as well. DD for the Templar assassin. It's a bit scary to deal with. Top lane, yeah. Ben Jaws, and I'm surprised they rotated that hero out. I'm surprised they rotated out the uh, crystal. They already lane. won this lane. Yeah, but Ever's I mean, they could, keep, they could keep dominating Benjaz and not allow him to get any CS. Or well, I think they want to secure some farm for the Invoker. Yeah, I mean, he's already Resilience at 15 CS, so that's fine. Look at this, they're still owning this guy. He even has Flame Guard. He has no levels in Sleight of Fist. This is this is a number that cannot get kills. Dark one level on Searing Chains and two levels in Flame Guard. That is not a, that is not a recipe for hero killing. No, absolutely Radiant not. Structures that is a recipe of just trying not to die. And that's unfortunate because as an Ember, you want to Radiant's get free farm early on to try to get to that uh, phase room, like you mentioned, and even towards a Battle Fury. Telekinesis well, this Risk. Nope, never mind. Jump away, gets Fade Bolted, but salve up nonetheless. Salve. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, Mid lane, though, it looks like Narok might get Radiant's killed here. That tower's gone. Oh, and Snare, yeah. Narok has got a Shadow Word. Meld Strike, is it enough? With a DD, you'd oh, be surprised, oh. and it's not. That's, wow. Shadow Word level 3 is uh, keeping him alive against a double damage rune. That's pretty great, so good stuff there. Man, arrow this flying. is uh, this is some insane stuff. Where'd that arrow go? That went nowhere. Arcane bolt flying through Jericho. Guess what? Your clarity's been canceled, my friend. How unfortunate. Yep. Oh, oh he's just gonna die. Jericho. He tells he me this is back. Sunstrike. <laughs> oh, just off the mark. What about the arcane bolt? Not enough damage. Ben Jaws looking to continue to go here on Lasted Magic, but the Marana. Getting the kill on the backside. Starstorm gonna go. He still has Flame Guard. He's Shit. got no arrow. The right click. That's enough. That's the second double kill in this lane for Risk. Easy game. Uh oh. Uh, get out of there, dude. Warlock got a kill in the mid lane. He just got a solo kill on Sidoral. I'm done. I'm gonna send Narok a love letter now. This is amazing. I don't. I mean, you've expressed your love for him. That we freaking live for. Well, Chicken MC died. It can't all be good. Yeah. This is a 2-0 Nyx Assassin. He's going to be a huge factor in this game. Use Vendetta for that one, but he's level 7 now. Cranking right along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, they're going to have Rock. Oh, man. I can't wait to see some Rocks. Yeah, Rock is... He doesn't have mana for it, but, like... Man, if it was only its, like, previous form where he used to do damage on top of the sun, that was so good. Man, this is some good stuff. Some good stuff here. Well, what's the key to success for Union Gamers at this point? Ember Spirit can't do shit. So Templar Assassin and Nyx Assassin, paired up with the Enchantress, I think, are going to be the way that maybe they can bring this game a little bit back in their favor. They have picked up a couple return kills, mostly down on the bottom lane. And uh, who else has those kills? Oh, the other two were neutrals, so never mind. Yeah, those don't actually mean anything. It's really just been the Invoker dying, Chicken MC equals feeder, so... Yeah. Um... It looks like Marana is either going for a Midas or picking up that Maelstrom rather early. Either or are fine. Um, the way they're leading this, I'd like to see a Maelstrom. Just yeah, continue. I agree with you. Just keep the pressure on Angel. Oh, man, that Central Ward just went down. The Star Storm's going to fly. Angel's like Vendetta Strike immediately. He didn't get the leap off, but the Warlock ult, the Sun Strike going in. It's going to hit Jericho. Leap away from Risk. He'll survive. Flame Guard, he wants this kill. He might get it. The phase away. Can he get out in time? Now oh, the arcade ball, the concussive shot, the arrow! He wants it! He's gonna get the kill! Well played from Risk. They're gonna turn around on Angel. They'll try to force him out of the lane, but they cannot get the kill. At least I don't think they can. Now, they'll back away. Dear Lord, the damage in the play coming up from Shadows of the Past. They have turned it around from that first scrim. Oh my god, Moonlight Shadow, he wants Angel. Arrow! Up, dude! Oh, he's dead. Right no clicks. Pay. Yeah, he is done so. That is another kill going for Risk, and they're gonna take this tower as well. <laughs> That is, this is just, 
this is the reason that I like casting these teams because sometimes you get some very innovative stuff and this you know this happens at upper level as well but these guys seem to do it a bit more often and uh this is some, this is great I mean it's working so well like this Marana is gonna be a huge issue for them he is oh, so joy, farmed joy, six and oh joy joy he's joy late oh joy no he's dead joy. All right, well someone else besides chicken MC died what a feeder whoops that's why I'm here yeah, and uh, we would. I don't. I they like they just had like this vision in their head, and they're like, under attack. dude, they I were told sitting you in they Skype went, one day. Meditated. They had spirit animals that talked to them, and this is <laughs> all right. Just, they're they're not like man. they didn't go to Burning Man for this. Okay, it's like okay, sh they were sitting in Skype sure? one day. This is some pretty next level stuff. I oh god, Chicken MC is about to get solo killed again by Angel. They'll throw up the ice wall. Oh, Angel. Cannot get the kill. The rotations are a bit late, but it doesn't matter. He'll survive nonetheless. He'll salve up as well. Chicken MC is sick of dying, but uh, I, I don't know. I feel like they were sitting in Skype one day and they were just like, "Listen, Warlock mid, Skywrath." Uh oh. Oh, speaking they of Warlock. rock mid lane, yeah. trying to get out of here. Trapped up in the air, taking a lot of damage. Shadow Ward heal, proving to be pretty good. Drops down the Fatal Bonds. He's trying to make it out of here. Is going to make it out. Jericho taking a lot of damage. No level six for the Skywrath. Jericho, can he make it out? No, he gets trapped now. Sidoral looking to turn this one around. Still a lot of refraction charges here. And whoa, that's a big hit. Now down goes one, but they trade it back and forth. Oh, the arrow hits Sidoral as well. So he's going to be going down here. They drop down a sentry. Make sure he can't get out. Down he goes. But all in the meanwhile, Chicken MC dies bottom. Uh, two for two trade. They get the TA, which is a high value target. But Chicken MC is very underwhelming this he game. He stopped dying. Yeah, he needs to really like. That's the one problem with this team right now is his death, or deaths, I should say. Really, really costing them. And uh, Risk did go for that Midas. So instead of kind of keeping that pressure on with the Maelstrom, he goes for an item that it will give him farm. But it's gonna be uh, I think a bit of time before he gets to that Maelstrom or Mjolnir. Oh, hey, he's got a thousand gold in the bank though. He might go for drum first also, which is. Yeah, I, I, I guess you don't need it because you have the Midas. Do you have attack speed? I'm not sure. It's, it's good for HP, though, I think. Yeah, that's Ronald true. does not have a ton of HP, yeah, so it gives well. you a little bit of added mana, yeah, which you really need. I played Murata a lot a while ago, and if you actually, like, farm waves with Starstorm, you really Dyer's need, like, an Aquila, even on t maybe even on top of the, the CM aura, so it's... Structures the added mana is always welcome on this hero. You can always spend it. Pretty low cooldown spells, so... They're going to take another tier one tower, so they might keep losing this invoker, but Jacob sees is going to stay with his friends, and he's actually getting close to a Midas. He would have liked to have it maybe two minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. Nayrock picks one up, and he says, listen, <laughs> I'm going to get an Aghanim Scepter very very, very soon. You guys could just deal That's with That's definitely going to be the goal, man. That's a very real item on this hero. Well, it's they, so good. And the, uh, the, the other thing is, on the other side, what do they have? The Ember Spirit went Arcane's. Which we don't see too often anymore. Sidoral has phase in Abidus, so typical stuff there. Zinder's has got his buckler, and that's about it. That's I mean, that's the extent of the items they have on Union Gaming side, so... Yeah, this Arcane build is a little bit kind of old, well, as old school as it can be, I guess, but TC used to do this build a lot. Yeah, I don't think he does anymore, but I guess if you're... If you're getting caught out and you can't build into damage, you might as well just go for mana and essentially be able to jump in with your Fire Remnants and throw out Flame Guard as much as possible, and... It's level 4 Flame Guard, so that's nothing to scoff at. It's a bit of damage, but it's certainly no 4-4-0 or 3-4-0 or what have you. Yeah, not nearly as much. Oh, damn it. Oh, you said it again, man. I did, dude. Take a shot, everybody. Yeah. Well, I just did a little bit of looking, and, and Warlock has got a 64% win rate if he does build that Agnims in competitive. So, oh, Ooh, oh thought about dropping the rock there. Yeah, that sun strike way off the mark. Not yeah. sure. Well, he was counting on the rock to come down. Under attack. Yeah. But it didn't. Yeah, I he, think they knew they couldn't really get it, so yeah, it was that, that smart been, cancel. That would they, they were all retreating. They saw the TP and they were like, listen, we don't want to touch that. So they'll TP down bottom and please don't die again, Chicken MC, dude. Like, I, I know you want this tower, but like, is it worth it? If, you, oh, they have a sentry here, so they're, they're going to see this uh, Nyx assassin, but it's a bit too late. Nice silence. No one pale to come out because of that sounds really well played, but the fire remnant coming no! through. The right clicks, Chicken MC, you're probably dead. And pale, yeah, absolutely you are. And he did that thing again where I, I didn't want him to do that thing. And die yeah that thing was him dying so dying is uh generally something you want to avoid you know when yeah. you're playing dota moonlight shadow uh just ending here charlie's tried to divide us dude <laughs> nice <laughs> charlie's <laughs> goddamn flamer dude oh well every time he's in chat and like this is the only day i look at chat because it's too many delays so i can't really like respond and like your memory would in any but 
It's been a lot of fun today, and Union Gaming are looking to end the day with another victory and try to 2-0 Shadows of the Past. And Shadows of the Past, though. They got something to say about it. Narok coming in. Wants to get the rock down. He, he can't, can't do it. it. He He's can't stunned. do it. He's stunned. He needs to drop it down. It goes. Is this going to be enough, though? On the back, they do kill the TA. And this man, the rock, he's doing tons of damage to Ben Haas. Trying to deny the tower. Nope, not enough. He zips out of here. And they need to get some follow-up. They would love, like, a four staff or something right now. That would oh, be yeah, great. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Arrow flying through. That was stolen oh, by the Rubik. Shit. It actually hit the, uh, the Warlock Golem, so... That's an unfortunate fight. They did get the Templar Assassin. They lose the Tier 1 tower, uh, but they lost Narok as well, and that, that cooldown is a bit long. So and if they can get this Tier 1 with the Warlock goal, maybe it's worth it, but I don't think they're going to try. They're going to back off now. Maybe have the Warlock hit it once or twice, but now it's going to be in deny range by the time he... Well, maybe not. I'm going to back it off. It's not in deny range yet, so... Well, and that's going to be 100 extra gold going up for Zinderlis, so we'll play. And, uh, well, here's the problem now. They need... Shadows of the Past need to continue this momentum because if not, this TA is going to start rolling on them. So they need to just figure out a way to continue bringing the action here. They need to knock down more towers. They need to get themselves a better gold advantage. And they really need Chicken MC to stop fucking dying. Who was it died that? Oh, it was Whitebeard earlier that died a shit ton on that. Uh, it, it seems kind of the same when he was on that Dazzle and just died pretty much every fight. So, yeah. And I mean... I'm honestly a little surprised that that bottom lane went so bad for him. At first glance, on I would think it wouldn't be that bad, but I guess completely solo against the Nyx, you can't really zone him out early because you don't have enough damage, so yeah. once he starts getting levels and starts mana burning you, life gets real fucking hard. I mean, the thing is, you have to get enough levels to have decent amount of damage from your Forge Spirits, and he just didn't hmm. have it there, apparently, and like, he just got caught out. I mean, because you have to get your Invoke up, you've got to get, like, I mean, level 1, Quas level 1 Exhort's not going to be enough for your, obviously, no. Forge Spirits, no. and... You've got to have, like, what he is now, which is, like, level 8 to be comfortable in lane, so... Um, he'll be going Necrobook, which is no surprise there. Um, having that item is going to be pretty useful for pushing into towers, which they're not having trouble doing if they can kind of 5-ban and do it on their terms, but... It's it's going to be an interesting climb, I guess, for... Well, Union Gaming to maybe get out of the hole they're in, which is only 1,000 gold lead, actually, when you think about it. Defusal coming now for Marana. That is an item that, uh, I'm trying to think what they're going to defuse here. I guess Can if they steal Warlock, I think, I think it, if you steal, um, uh, maybe, uh, sure. we can check that though. Warlock Golem, if he steals it, which I think is probably the best usage, you might be able yeah, to purge yeah, Flame Guard. Maybe that's also something. That's the thing is I don't really know what's purgeable and what's oh, purgeable. God, that arrow. Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack, man. Dude, I get excited. Yeah, I know you do. I'm very aware. I'm getting real excited. Impale coming through. They want the sour. I don't know if they'll be able to get it here. Uh, do they have the rock, though, is the question. The answer is yes. It's up now. And so Radiant's is that fuse play that you tower. talked about. Manipur might be... War oh, why did you stand there, Risk? Mm. Oh, Shadow Word him, please. The Impale. Nice silence, though, to keep him away. Oh, that was very close for Risk. There's the rock coming in. There's going to be the Mystic Flare as well. Jericho's getting low, but a nice mech. He's going to stay alive. Angel getting low as well. The Shadow, or excuse me, the Ice Wall, keeping everybody around. The Upheaval as well. There's the Freezing Woo! Build. Zinderless with the Nature's Intent. It's still alive just because of that ability. They only lost one in a Tier 1 Tower. That could have been so much worse. They'll back off now for Shadows of the Past. Man. They got screwed there. Absolutely screwed. Blink and pale out of two, Angel. What a play. But now he might die because of it. He want to stop that TP. Cold snap coming through. There's the Moonlight Shadow. The Searing Chains as well as the Slight of Fist. Big, big belt strike. Getting the gun on the Skyrath. Now they're going to try to get Narok. We'll just TP away. Uh, no chance to keep him in place and he'll be able to get out alive. And finally, finally that Enchant just goes down. My goodness. Yeah, finally going down, and he's done a nice job being pretty, uh, pretty tanky. He hasn't has he died much? He's only died once and gotten been a part of six kills. So, great play from this enchantress. He did a decent job of impacting the mid lane as well, which is something I was mentioning. I mean, maybe not as important when it's a warlock, but still something you need to do. So, they're gonna try to rush now, and this is definitely a good way for Union to really start solidifying this game for themselves. I mean, they're doing okay in these fights, but. I think the, the team fights around 25 minutes are going to be pretty hard for them. Like, I think Narok should have his uh, his Aghanims by then. That makes yeah. a huge difference. Marana's going to have another damage item. That makes a big difference. And hopefully Invoker will have... Well, he's got a Necro now, too, so that's going to make a big difference as well. Well, Necro 1 is just... just yeah, Necro 1's pretty shit. piece but... of shit item, but you need, like, Necro 2 and 3, and it's getting mm -hmm. close to that, so... Um... 
Yeah, I mean, they're, oh. they're secure. Angel's been game. doing good, though. Yeah, Angel has been, I think, single-handedly, at least keeping them in the early stages of the game, yeah, because Benjaz has been... He's not been doing much. Sidoral has gotten some work done. He's almost got a BKB, which is a huge item, I feel like, because um, the right-click damage isn't quite there yet, and all the damage comes from that Sky Wrath, uh, maybe Fatal Bonds to a certain extent. The arrow still gets stunned by the rock, though. So the fusible blade is all, also some damage as well. But maybe they need more for the Marana. She'll throw up an arrow, and they're going to scout out that this is uh, a Roche flying oh, through. Yeah. It does hit up on Sidoral, but I don't think they're in any position to contest this. Yeah, that without rock it seems a little hard. Maybe they can still do it. Twenty-two seconds. If they run in there, now it's too late. Sunstrike's going to fly. They're going to get the Aegis on Ember. They're going to smoke right Ooh. out of it. Blink and pale. He's on the high ground. Angel, no. Joy might get caught out That's though. Upheaval coming in. Crystal Nova, the Mystic Flare hitting on it too. Zinderlis is dead. Jericho is about to fall as well. What a fight. Zinderlis is going to try to go on Joy. Joy might fall to the Flame Guard. The Ancient Seal. He has the Aegis, mind you. He's kind of speedy. Can they get him? There's going to be the Arcane Bolt. There's the Rock going in. They want this kill. The Sleight of Fist, the Siri Chains, but the Aegis is going to go. Do they have anywhere? enough damage to kill? The Concussive Shot might need to go. Nice arrow. Well timed. Well arrowed. Well shot, Mr. Morano. Well shot, sir. Yeah, exactly. And this is, uh, that was a good engagement. That's definitely worth the rock, I think, to kill that Aegis, to kill him again. Yeah. And I think they might be able to transition that into a tier 2 tower, bottom. Enchantress has been doing quite well in these fights, though. She did go down there, but she did a lot of, she a lot of Havoc first. And, you know, some people were talking about how good Upheaval is. It's pretty and, good ability. Uh, it seems pretty good. If only it did damage. Yeah. <laughs> But it doesn't. They would be imbalanced as shit. Um, yeah, probably. <laughs> um, well, they're not going to go for the tier Radiant's 2 here, actually. Tower has been yeah, no, I mean... They need... I think they... I mean, kills are great, and... Well, I guess they killed the Aegis with that one, but they do need to continue transitioning these into more, in my opinion. Yeah, they need to get objectives on top yeah, of all. They need towers, things. exactly. Yep. They need to get objectives. Killing people is great, but... Towers win games. 20 minutes in actually and... down right now in towers. 20 minutes in and... I think they have a gold lead, but it's not by much. It's about 2,000. It's, it's again, another close, close, close game. Very close, so... Um, There's the BKB finally for the TA. Yeah, that and that fight... Had it gone their way, she probably gets it a little bit earlier. I don't think... She she died, right? Or did she get away? I'm not sure. Um, I can't remember. I don't know. I think she died. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she died. Not 100% sure, but I think I'm she died. I'm pretty sure she died. But 8-0 and here for Risk. He's had a great game on this Morana. I wonder what his next item is. Uh, we just got a Manta. Yeah, maybe. Angel's got a DD Vendetta. Oh, double Impale. Yeah, that's really good from Angel. He might even get two here. Spike Carapace, blink forward. Now the double damage still doing work, but the Sun Strike does work, but not nearly enough. Here's the Ember Spirit as well, looking in the backside, but they're going to jump right on top of the Rubik. Risk is godlike now. <laughs> and they're still chasing after Angel, who will blink away to the low ground. Nicely done there. He'll get away just in time as everyone was converging on him, so. Yeah. Sidoral trying to push in top lane here, trying to push in the creeps, get a tier 2 tower. I think Union are doing a bit better job here with objectives. Um, and this is really an issue for Shadows of the Past because I think they need to get more momentum going their way. I'm really scared now that this TA has the BKB if they're actually going to be able to kill her easily. I, it comes defense. down to kiting her, and they have the abilities to do so, at least with Nimran and the leap, but it's going to be tough. I think it's going to be very tough now that, I mean, the thing is, they're still down, and this is still a Marana who's going for a butterfly next, by the way. Um, she has damage. She's got the ability to be really, really involved in these fights. But I agree with what you said a bit earlier. They have better objective taking, I guess, uh, abilities. At least they've been d doing better in terms of objective taking. Like last game, like if you think about the reason why Shadows of the Past lost, Union Gaming just, they took more objectives and they won the game because they took objectives and they didn't sit back and just get kills and farm. Narok's getting caught out in Meld Strike, doing some damage, but Shadow Wave is, well, not Wave, excuse me, but Shadow Word rather is helping him out there, so. Shadow something. Shadow Blank. Shadow yeah, and uh, he's moving towards that Aghanims, and that's going to be a pretty big factor in this fight. It really, it's a lot more damage. He has, that's, yeah, he's got the point booster on the courier. For some reason, when you look at items on the courier, it says their other name that they're not using in uh Oh, that's in -game. annoying. Yeah, ego-free, sex-free. So, um, yeah, actually, that's his Aghanims right there. I um, didn't know he had it at, at that point. Oh, he just canceled his TP. Uh, well. Rip. 
ripping, ripping pepperonis, I guess. But yeah. So, do they have a gem? No, they have a necro three. What am I talking about? I was like, mm, where's the Ooh, gem? Angel, angel. If they can get angel, oh man, they really need a mobility item on either uh, anybody, the crystal maiden or Skywrath. I think it's been both force. Yeah, they attack. really need a force or a blink or something. I think that would make these fights way easier for them. Impetus just to kill that creep real quick. Risk is going to take up the tower for a second here, but now the Necro oh, unit's going to go to town. They'll... Oh, they enchanted the Necro warrior. All right. That's... Moving in with Ag's defense. Oh, my God! That Impale Angel gets three, immediately backs up, has an Invis rune, but they do get the tower. Yeah, they got the tier two tower. They're probably they need to push be up very careful. Ground. Risk! Vendetta strikes. Spell was stolen. It's Starstorm. That's a bit of damage coming out. They're chasing after Angel right now. Sleight of Fist going through. Meanwhile, on the backside, arrows flying. Chicken MC is going to back away with Risk here to help him out. But I think they consider forcing high ground here. Mm. They're going to back up. No, I don't think so. Not without Aegis. I don't think so. And not without that butterfly done as well for Risk. It's yeah, I close. think if they had pick, got another pick off there, it's like, uh oh, this is bad. They rock Shadow Words himself. He knows that there is a heap of trouble coming his way, and he would have to ult this. Don't don't hit R. Please don't hit R. I was like, just don't hit R. Oh oh oh. Oh, uh, this is not going to work. Oh. It almost did. That's not a fight you want. If your Shadow's the fast and if you're Risk right now, you're like, can you guys not die while I'm farming? Like my butterfly, please just don't do that. Which he has, by the way. So. Okay. Well, that's a damage item. That's. This is what they need, man. They need this Marana to get into full carry mode. I mean, she's like, butterflies, a really she good damage item. She is 10 2 with 150, wait, I just realized it's only 24 minutes, so this butterfly is going to be insane. It's also going to be really good she's against TA. So much agility, so much damage, the evasion, the attack speed, like, just yeah, with the attack speed and the agility know. alone, it gives you a ton of damage, plus 30 damage on top of that, it's kind of gross, so. Mm -hmm. You might not be able to notice the damage, because it's not like 2,000 damage here on the sword, but like, it's a bit of damage. Uh, so. 60 damage plus the attack speed. Plus the effective HP it's going to give her against the TA. This is good stuff for the Marana. Yeah. At some point, you might have to go for a bit of a defensive item. Um, I'm not sure, though. You could go BKB. You can go for a Lincoln Sphere. But what are you going to go Lincoln Sphere against? Maybe Telkinesis yeah. and Enchant. But that's about it, really. So. I don't even think it's a... I don't really know if that's... I don't, I don't think, think this is... Really this probably is not even a BKB game, either. So, yeah. yeah Man, Angel has done work. He's been the one dictating all the ganks for Union Gaming. And he got another one just there. But they dropped the rocks. And are all getting chased down. Angel's going to get forced away. BKB is going to get popped. Diffusal Blade will be ready by the time that BKB goes away. But they won't chase. They're going to chase after Angel instead. The Spike Carapace, well played. But Joik... Frost biting him up. He'll try to maybe blink down to the low ground. He cannot, however. He will get caught out and die. So the rock for one hero, essentially. They could not get Sidoral, but they did force out the 10-second BKB charge. Yeah, moving forward here, they need to get... I think they really need to get some Tier 2s here. Like, they need to continue knocking down these towers. I'm just really worried that the momentum's going to stop for Shadows of the Past, and Templar Assassin's just going to start killing them all. I don't think they ever have really been in the lead, now that I think about it. No, I mean, it's it's been very close. It's like a 3,000 gold lead, but that's nothing. It, it's not no, a lot. It's not nothing at 26 minutes, but it's certainly not what you'd like to be at. You'd, you'd, you'd be comfortable with like a 10,000 gold lead at this point, but it's just not really working out because, well, I mean, you look at the CS and the TA is still doing very well Daya's with Midas of Verone, and now Ember's starting to get back into it. Uh, he's gonna be going for BKB next. He also has a Ring of Health, which he might turn into a Battle Fury. So he's going for like full defensive mode here and trying to stay alive and help his team out as much as possible. But uh, it's objective time. I mean, you've got to take objectives if you're either team. This Roshan, very fast respawn time, about to be up in uh, I don't know. I I'm, I'm gonna guess it's what, like 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. 35 seconds mm -hmm. or something. All. They would we'll like see to have what gets too. next. He has a belt Refresher. of strength, so I think oh, maybe, we go Necro. Yeah, he's going Necro. Refresher would be sweet, but with how he's been dying in fights, I think Necro is probably better. Yeah, Necro is going to be really good to push. I don't think anybody else on the other team has a Necro either. Uh, they don't, but they have a chance so they could take one creep away. Uh, yeah, so that's often. just annoying. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Chicken MC might die again to Angel. Please, no. He tornadoes away. He's got a Ghost Walk as well. Angel now, no oh, force, no blink if he keeps getting attacked here. There's going to be the Concussive Shot. Slow him down. We need to be Angel careful. Is dead. Chicken nice MC shot. finally gets his revenge, man. <laughs> Chicken nice. MC's revenge. He's actually up to five and four in this point. He has stopped dying. He's answered my request. I think that I was like I'm pretty sure that dying. was his team's request. He's like, 
can you not die? <laughs> Please yeah. stop dying. It's pretty sure that was like what they were saying in Skype for a long time, but top lane, no detection though. And uh, shadow, yeah, risk is gonna risk get away. Gonna get they can yeah. jump in with the moonlight too and go for this Roshan. I don't know if they have any idea this is happening. And this is a radiant team, by the way. There's not like there's this much map control. They have a ward here, so they can see them coming through. They also have a ward here up the high ground, which is really nice. It gives them vision. Just this kind of line. Hiding, but uh, there's, I don't think any way, unless Union go now, they can test this Roshan. It's getting rather low. And no, they got it, dude. There's no dire this vision is good here. For shadows of the past, really good. Mirana getting an Aegis is huge. Yeah, I mean, this is. They, they know it's happening now, but it's a bit too late already. They're just like, damn, the we should have gone earlier. But, uh, yeah, I mean, now you've got an Aegis like you talked about for the Marana. You're sitting on a Diffusal and a Butterfly and 2,600 gold in the bank. You're level 17, which should be the highest level in the game, tied with the Templar Assassin, who was mid. You're, for, you're feeling uh, at least a little confident. Chicken MC, if he gets like one or two more items, he'll be in a position where he can start doing a little bit of carrying in his own right. I yep, mean, yep, yep. Oh my god, dude. Squirt gun. What Set did I say? In your in his own right. Shit. <laughs> Everybody take a drink. Drink up, boys. I didn't and, even notice uh, I said it. I'm glad you caught me. It, it's kind of like, you know, how some people say, like, eh or uh. You just say that instead. Well, is it better to say eh or uh instead of in your own no, right? just don't say it at all. Okay. <laughs> That's all forward. right, guys. But we're moving forward here, I mean, we've got a little bit of downtime as it looks like. Shadows of the Past are going to be pushing out the bottom lane, and uh, it's objective time, baby. They need to get Marana over here, though, but honestly, they could probably take this tower without Marana. They don't need her. I... They're independent. They got Necros. They could drop the rock. Yeah, they don't need a Marana. She bought an Aquila, or was that in her stash or courier? I'm not sure. Uh... <laughs> I'm pretty sure she had that earlier. Yeah, I would assume she had that earlier. The good old 30-minute Aquila. Aquila. She's, she sold it. Right. She's bottom sold it. Tower yeah, okay. Under That's good. But tier 2 for a tier 2 potentially. Sidoral does some damage. Doesn't have a Desolator, so it's not that much. But Dire Fortification. And uh, yeah, this is a trade. And this is a trade that's probably not worth it for Shadows of Fast. Only Radiant's one spirit left for uh, Ben Haas here. Yeah, if he gets I think in, that's okay for Side of the Pass, because now they're geared up to take to take high ground right now. Yeah, and they also have the Warlock Ult, too, and they have Necro. Oh, they're Where ready. are they going to go, though? Are they going to cut the script? Oh, the Courier! Yes! What did that have on it? That had a Demon Edge. That was Sidoral's something. No, it was actually just a Demon Edge. Well, now they're just going to take this pretty casually, honestly. Look at this. The tier three gone. Nayrox just sitting in the back. He knows that he cannot really be in the front until they drop the rock, rock which old. is right now. On, a meatball, upheaval, risk. That's the Aegis, but a Mystic Flare again. So on point with that upheaval helping out. The Nature's Attendants, they're trying to burst through, but untouchable, man. It's so difficult to deal with Angel now. Trying to do what he can. Upheavaling. Yeah, just take the racks, though. Well fought. Nobody's dead. No casualties in this engagement except for the most important thing, the racks, and maybe a risk here. Yeah, he'll die. That's that is one thousand gold going to the next assassin. One thousand three hundred in fact. And they're gonna try to chase after this. Chicken MC. Uh BKB is up for Sidoral. Tornado, that's not gonna help you there, man. You're dead. We'll go down, that's a double kill going out for Angel, who now gets seven hundred and ten more gold with a mega kill streak. So he's up to three thousand gold the bank for this next assassin. What do you buy now? Dude, just nah. like Necro, Dagan. Dagan, maybe if you're feeling Necro's good. Necro's probably better. Maybe Ghost Scepter. Dagan is a horrible if you don't want to get shot, or if you don't get a want to get right quick down, maybe Ghost Scepter's fine here. But again, you're dealing with Skyrath and God. His ult was so good. Last yeah, magic very nice. He's ult. had. I mean, it's a lot of damage, and he did a good job of. He landed on two heroes. It gets split, but I think it's a little bit better that way because then the the golems have a better chance of killing two heroes with a couple swipes. So, I I really like the way that Shadows of the Past. Pay, played that and they only lost two heroes for a set of racks so that's real good what is this and i mean they shoot? lost the Aegis too warlock is not going necro he's going refresher so haha -ha, take that what the hell is this belt of strength i don't know dude it's i was like belt of strength just, making me look stupid he just wanted to put it on and feel stronger <laughs> that's what Arak does yeah he's getting refresher though and this is uh this is an unreal item on necro it's so or on warlock it's so good Double stun, four golems. The four golems can easily They'll kill the tower. They'll just take racks. Like, yeah, there's like you can do Easily about kill it. the tower, easily kill the racks. You have they to have... focus fire so heavily, and like, this is not a this is not a World of Warcraft rating team we're looking at here. There's a group of five people playing Dota. It's a bit different. So, look how behind Ember is, man. He had to buy the BKB. He's now working on Battle Furies. If the game goes ultra late, I think Union might have the advantage with that, but. 
at that point, I don't know. This Maran is huge. We're not talking about the bigger picture here, which is they're missing a set of racks. Yeah, there is a set of buildings missing. <laughs> just that's true. Just gone, eviscerated from its home. So uh, they maybe can get another racks here, but I, I don't know. Maran is pretty squishy. They've got to be careful. I mean, when it comes to like not just right clicks, but magic damage as well. I mean, she doesn't have a BKB, but. Then again, I don't know. She got caught up by Sidoral and took one too many hits potentially, and she just went down very quickly as she stayed and wanted that. She wanted the racks, and I can understand. That is an MKB now done for Templar Assassin. The courier finally alive to give it to her, and that's good. Man, yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll give them some game against the Marana. No Desolator, but damage is very, very real for. I mean, they they needed that to kill the Marana. Yeah, absolutely. And Marana only has 1,100 HP, so maybe now she's at the point where well, she picked up a Demon Edge. I guess she's just going Daedalus. Probably. I don't think she needs to go for an MKB. I don't there's, think there's no yeah, butterfly no, coming so. out. Of it. I mean, you might build it for a Templar Assassin, but maybe finish that into a Manta style now and with an MKB. You probably don't need to go Daedalus, or but you could, I guess. And there's a lot of choices for both heroes here. But a smoke of deceit gank coming up from Union Gaming. They'll try to look and maybe oh, 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 win a fight really here. Bad. Yeah, this is maybe not good. The refresher is done. Here, the yeah, he needs to make sure he stays alive. Oh, they missed the impale, the BKB. There's one drop. He'll refresh it up. And the second gonna go as well. They get two down already. One down. That's gonna be Skywrath now. They stole the ultimate coming through. There's golems everywhere right now, as you can see. Three down on the side of Shadows of the Past. Can hardly keep track of what's going on. Sidoral taking a lot of right click damage. They're gonna team wipe them. Man, they turned that around. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they were not prepared at all for the Jericho. counter golem. Yeah, that was not good. That's the problem with the refresher against the Rubik is just so easy. But these golems could easily kill Sidoral here. Mm, he's too fast, I think, with, with at least with phase. He's just phase. Yeah, he's fine. So, it's a good try, but uh, these Sauron golems are not going to be able to do enough work, sadly. Yeah, and that was a really nice play by Union Gaming. They knew exactly what was happening. They have a really nice smoke and can just catch him way off guard. That's like huge too. That I mean, the gold graph doesn't really matter now at this point as much. Twenty five hundred gold lead. That's like nothing at thirty five minutes it's in. And XP. It's ten k now. I mean. One more fight like that, and you force buybacks, and all of a sudden you might be able to go for a set of racks. If you look at buyback status for Shadows of the Past, they only have two. It's Risk as well as uh, Chicken MC. So. Oh, this game's getting sketchy. We're getting now to the point where it's getting it's getting sketchy for them. And Sidoral has so much damage now. Yeah, I think did I'm pretty sure the Marana defused one of those. Uh, I think yeah, I was trying to see, oh, but it's really hard to tell because the fusal cooldown is so gone. short. But they died so fast. I have to imagine one of them got defused. I think that I mean, well, you're not going to defuse your own golems, and so uh, Jericho's one golem. Because he doesn't have an Agadim Scepter, gets diffused and... Well, he still gets two, doesn't he? No, 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 no. I, Are you sure? Yeah, I'm... You need... Because you need the Ags upgrade for it. That's how Ags works. I'm pretty sure. I thought if you stole someone who had Ags upgrade, you no, got the Ags I, upgrade. I don't think so. I'm, like, almost positive that you need an Ags upgrade. Well, maybe I'm just fucking wrong. Uh, you might be. I we'll also might out. be. We'll find out in about two and a half minutes when Chad catches <laughs> up and flames one of us. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, regardless, one of them definitely got defused. And if there was only one, it was the only one. So, yeah. Roche is going to be up in three minutes. I think if Shadows of the Past get this Roche, they should be in a good position here to perhaps take down another set of racks. If they don't get it, though, they are going to be in a world of hurt. Yeah, absolutely. Middle is missing. Oh, they're smoke ganking again. Yeah, and, that, and this was what helped out last time. It's 15 seconds to ulti for Nayrock. Does he have the refresher? Yeah. Oh, oh, he does. Wow. Oh, they're going to jump on the Marana. Now they know they're here. Blank and pale. It only hits on one. Smoke has been revealed. There's the shadows, or excuse me, Moonlight oh Shadow coming in. Now last hit magic. They've used the ultimate coming out. Did Jericho steal it? No, not this time. He, did. he might have used it already. Yeah, he did actually. He did steal it and used it. But again, two heroes are dead for Shadows of the Past. Maybe a third coming out as well. Risk is in some trouble. He'll go down. And all of a sudden, they have... They have a chance to move forward here, take the tier three and a set of racks, or at least force buybacks out, which, guess what? Invokes is the only one. Oh, God, it's a comeback, ladies and gentlemen. An angel. Oh, my God. Joy. Moves forward again. They dropped the second set of rocks. Is this enough, though? No, There's they died so alive. quickly. There's no way. Invoker buys back, comes back, drops the sun strike, misses. They're not hitting the buildings, though. Now this game is dead. over. This be a problem, I think this game is over. Maybe. No, Invoker comes back. He tornadoes up. He meatballs as well. That does a lot of damage. They've got to be careful. Fatal Bonds oh, taking on Jericho. Bonds, 
Look at that damage. He's still alive, but just barely. Mystic Flare. It's going to blow up the Enchantress now. The Impale is up. That'll be on risk. He's going to ball triple kill for Benjaz. He's back in it, boys. They're looking for the set of racks. They're looking to turn everything around. We ain't done yet. Fortification's going to go. They really need Mirana. She's down for 22 more seconds. Battle Fury just arriving for Benjaz. Everybody has buyback now on Union. Telkinese is back. The Impale up on Chicken MC. The right clicks. Cinderall doing work with the Meld Strike. They'll take the range racks. They'll back off. They'll probably go to Roche. Take that. And maybe go for potentially the throne at that point, or I guess another set of racks. Yeah, that was, uh, man, what a disaster for Shadows of the Past. And now I think we've gotten to the point with the MKB up for Citaral. He's able to easily kill the Marana, and it's just really hard for them to do anything now. And it looks like you were you were completely right, and I was wrong. I think only one Golem came down when he stole it. So it did. my apologies. Well, I'm wrong, dude. I don't, I, you know, I don't get mechanics questions wrong much anymore, but that one I just fucked up. Yeah, mechanics. Is that like a change since they changed the Rubik Aghanims? Uh, or am I just dumb? No, that's been that way for the entire time. All right, so I'm just fucking dumb. All right. It's unfortunate. Or maybe not. Uh, Wait. Maybe wait not. a second. I, I don't know. I, it's I, con I, conflicting information. Yeah, I don't really know what's happening the anymore. Listen, uh, it's, it's a little late. I apologize for whatever I've done in this game, so... Don't read the change logs, you guys. You guys are, you're something. <laughs> Fucking chat. Fucking chat, man. All right. Well, they lost one lane of racks here. I'm not really too worried about that. I'm mostly worried about how they got completely crushed in that fight. Um. Yeah, that was not good. That does not inspire confidence. I and they yeah, got caught that out. That was yes, before. But that was before the battle fury. That. It was really Sidoral, the amount... Angel was doing work with Spike Carapace, with Impales. It's really tough to lock down Union's lineup, really. I mean, Angel's all over the place. You've got Nature's Attendance and Untouchable for the Enchantress, who has a mech, by the way, as well. Sidoral, obviously, with Refraction. So it's difficult to really pin them down and kill them. And Risk is the only one that does any real damage, and he is still squishy enough to get blown up rather quickly. He only has 1,400 HP. That's not it's a lot no at all. BKB. That... Like, look how much damage. The Citadel has a fucking data list now. Oh, dear. Oh, I was wrong about that. He did go for it, as well as the Mantis Tower, which he finished up. He's very close to... Well, he's four-slotted now. Uh, get rid of that bottle, get bots, and then you're good to go. So... Oh, man. DD is better than a six-item. Well... The Rune of Death. Yeah, DD's good until you lose it, and then... I mean, you gotta go front of it at some point. Yeah, they're gonna get Aegis, too. And this is probably cheese? Yeah, it is. They'll Sunstrike it up, but there's no way you get there in time if you're on the side of Shadows of the Past. There is a 5,000 gold lead for Union now. Shadows of the Past have this game in hand. Uh, they, I mean, not in hand, but they had a set of racks. So, now there's a Scythe and the Nyx Assassin. Union have a lot of items here. A lot, a lot of items. So, now that there's a cheese on Benjaz, they gave the Aegis up to the Templar Assassin who sold her bottle. And, uh... Zidalus has impetus as well, which is uh, Agadim's upgraded, so this is a lot of damage that Shadows of the Past has to deal with. Holy shit. Did you mention the XP graph? I did not. Oh, that's... boy. <laughs> that's some, uh, that's impressive. Risk? Impale? Mana burn? They're gonna lock him down. They're gonna use that scythe. Fire Remnant's blowing her up. He has oh, buyback, my but God. that's bad as hell. That's not good, though. I mean, now you want to buy back if you go down in an engagement. They're gonna push yeah, top, they're gonna push into the racks, I think. Well, actually, they might go for the 2 2 bottom. Sidoral might just take this on his own. Maybe. They're gonna rotate over. They'll try to stop him. I feel like the supports are not having any impact here for Shadows of the Past right now, whereas Union, they have so much impact with Rock, this is, Impetus, yeah. Mech, Untouchable. This is why people don't like Skyrath Mage, because at this point in the game, he sucks. He's awful. He doesn't do anything. Yeah. I mean, uh, they. they it let him crush the landing phase. Now, oh, they're gonna turn around. Nope, never mind. Nice Manta, Manta out of that frostbite, though. Deafening Blast. Okay, you're disarmed for a couple seconds now. Silence. Arcane Bolted. He wants to fight. BKB's gonna go. That 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 is not gonna help you. Last hit magic. That blade mail is not going to save your life, sadly. And they're gonna dive now. Angel jumping in. They'll throw up the tornado. It'll hunt it too. Joik is searing chains. They're dead. Benjaz is on a mega kill streak now. They hex up risk. He already bought back. That is not good. He's gonna fall. That's it. He's down for 85 seconds. <laughs> that That is going to be it, man. Narok just did question mark. Yeah, I mean, a lot of his team has died for, like, no reason. Yeah, now they're just going to call GG. Wow, that is so... Inc that's an anticlimactic way to end this game, but... Oh, man, the goggles come out from Citadel, dude. 
Yes, <laughs> I've been waiting for it. The Ready GG well, I don't know, man. Shadows of the Past had a great draft, a great objective in their landing phase, and to be honest, they just really, like, a couple of their players just really screw the pooch. I, I just, I'm surprised that victory. it was looking so good for them. They had a set of racks. All they needed to do was have a good team fight, and they just couldn't get it done, so. Yeah, and, uh, all right, so basically the way the Rubik things work is it did used to be that you didn't need Ags to steal Ags, but now it is. Really? Yeah. I do not remember that. And if you get Ags, then you always get Ags upgrades. All so. right, well. But that brings us to the conclusion of this game, man. I'm sad that that strategy lost. That was some next level shit. It was close for a while. They did a, a strategy which, I mean, listen, we're not going to complain if you go for something out of the ordinary and outside the box. So I, I do enjoy watching that kind of style, but unfortunately it just didn't work out in their favor. And Shadows of the Past have been looking really not good these past couple of days. And they were they were doing really well the first couple of weeks of the season, and now it's just been not a disaster, but they're not looking to get into the playoffs apparently because they are like 6-9 and nine now or something. They are in a position which is very, very it's rough. Bad, so. yeah. um, Especially, and it's really bad coming this close to the TI quals. Like, this is not when you want to be faltering as a team. This is when you want to be coming together, playing your strongest. Granted, they did play with a very weird strategy, and, you know, I think it's possible that maybe if you replace one of the supports, this strategy could work even in the late game, but when it gets this late and you really just, you depend on this lineup winning earlier than 45 minutes. For Union, though, that is a huge victory for them. I think that just got updated. I think they're 5-7 and seven now. Uh, they were 3-7 and seven at the start of the evening, I believe. I might be wrong about that. They might be 7-7, seven and seven, actually. I don't think that's the case, though. I'm not sure when Shawnee updated updates all this stuff so because shadows of the past were six and six before that now they're six and eight so and they only have two more games left so shadows of the past are in a really precarious position here considering union and the Subarus can both kind of creep up on them and kind of take that slot so uh that is going to be the end of tonight guys thank you so much for watching it's been a pleasure it's been a lot of fun a bit cloudy at times but fun nonetheless <laughs> and yeah we will head out of here. Once again, my name is Mike. You can follow me at twitter.com slash Mike. With me is what is hip. You can follow me on twitter.com slash what is hip TV. Check out highground.tv for us and twitter.com slash highground TV as well. Mm -hmm. www.american Dota League for the American Dota League action. That's www.american Dota League.com. Forgot that important part. And then um, twitter.com slash American Dota for all of the updates for the ADL and stuff like that. $3.99 for the ticket in the Dota store. Definitely worth it. Really fun stuff there. Uh, we will be back tomorrow, I believe, and the games tomorrow are as follows. For Thursday, the May 8th, we have Isurus Gaming versus No Earth Spirit. That'll start at 7 o'clock again promptly, as it does always. And then to round it out, it's going to be Isurus versus Union, an all South American affair to finish things off at about 9 o'clock Eastern time. So it's been a pleasure, guys. Greg, any last words before we head out of here? Oh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed tonight's cast. Uh, we had some clowny pauses, and... Uh... You guys get you guys get to see them the real me and Mott, so hope you uh hope you enjoyed and have as much fun as we did. Alright guys, take it easy.